appealing book covers that make sales. How much should you spend on a book cover? In this lesson, we will be discussing book covers that convert into sales, criteria for an appealing book cover, budget, so how much you should be spending on a book cover, and much, much more. Criteria for an ideal book cover. Your book cover title should be optimized and you should be using keyword terms related within your niche. For example, if you're in the weight loss niche, your title should have some relevant keywords related to weight loss. Concise title and phrases. Do not keyword stuff your book title. I see so much new publishers doing this in hopes to rank for keywords. Keyword stuffing does not work anymore and it's against Amazon's terms of service. Save your extra keywords for the seven slots Amazon provides for the SEO feature when you're uploading your book and as well as Amazon advertising. You should also aim to make your title concise, consisting of five to eight words, generally speaking, is my rule of thumb. A picture is worth a thousand words. What story or narrative does your book cover convey? Does it speak to a specific demographic? What message are you trying to get across to your audience? Remember, an image is powerful when used in the right context. Complex ideas can easily be communicated through a simple picture. Is your book cover in compliance to Amazon's terms of service? Make sure your cover has no profanity or nudity on it. Also, ensure that you hold the licensing rights to the images you are using on your cover. This means you have to check with your graphic designer or stock photo website if you are granted commercial use. Anytime I get my book covers designed, I make sure I have the rights to use it under commercial policy, meaning I can sell it, distribute it, and basically do whatever I want with it. So that's crucial to keep in mind because the last thing you want to do is invest in a book cover and they get in trouble for using images that you do not have the rights to. Branding. One of the most effective ways to stand out on Amazon is to have a book covers that are branded. What does this mean? Look at the color th themes and overall appeal of your cover. Is it uniform? Can a customer recognize a distinct appearance for multiple books within your portfolio belonging to the same series or pen name? A prime example of this type of branding is from a famous author, Robert Kiyosaki, as you can see over here. I have personally read his books on financial education myself, and anytime I'm on Amazon, I can easily recognize his books instantly. We can see here the main color schemes being used are purple and black, and we can see it's uniform throughout. On this next set of books, we can see the main color schemes being purple, black, and gray. Again, consistency with a uniform look across all book covers. Budget. Some publishing gurus tell you that you have to spend $50 on a nonfiction book cover. Should you spend $50 for a nonfiction book cover? Absolutely not. Anybody telling you to spend $50 for a book cover in nonfiction does not have your best interest at heart. That's way overpriced and a ripoff. You can easily get premium book covers designed for much less. I personally get my book covers designed on a budget between $5 and $20. I used to get most of my book covers designed for $5 with a particular designer, but recently the designer increased the price point to $10. This was probably because I referred many of my students to this designer, which increased the demand. I should, I should also mention, speaking of my book cover designer, I do give my students special access to my personal book cover designer in Passive Income Publishing Academy. The link to that course is below in the description if you are interested. Anyhow, the point is you should spend the maximum of $20 on a book cover if warranted, but I would argue you can get a high quality book cover designer for between $5 and $10 if you're willing to look. Outsourcing. So, where to get your book covers designed? 
you can check out Fiverr or Upwork to find freelancing freelancers for affordable and cheap prices. I personally use both. If you wanted if you want a walkthrough on how to find a book cover designer or a tutorial on how to use these freelancing websites, feel free to check out some of my past videos on my channel where I have done several video tutorials step by step teaching you how to use these sites to find freelancers. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.